everything, y'all. So my table is about to be here. So everything is clear. I'm gonna try to set y'all up so y'all can just see them bring it in the table. It's a beautiful table, you guys. It's so beautiful. I know they were just talking about us, so my truck says it's 79 70, degrees. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Thank you. 
I see why you said what you said in the car. It sounds something about keeping both tables in the dining room. Even with a smaller table, it still would have been too crowded. Mm -hmm. This table is very small. This should be a lifetime table. I should be passing this table on to one of my children. Mm -hmm. What you been doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, let me show you guys the table. So this is the table. Look how long this table is. The details of the table. So this is the details. Look at the side of the table. Look how pretty that is. Now look at the bottom of the table. Look at that. Look at the details. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous, you guys. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. Look at that. Then the detail of the table is just everything. Everything. Y'all hear the microwave in the background. So, okay, you guys, I'm going to show you guys um, what I have. And I'm going to get five. I'm going to get these and I'm going to get um, five different ones because they're going to go across my dining room at the top of my dining room wall. But let me show you the first one I have received. Y'all, I'm always ordering something. Oh. And let's see if I even want to. And they heavy too. They are heavy. This thing is heavy. I wish I had some more light. I need some light in here. No light. Let me see if I can get some light. Look at this. Beautiful. 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 And it can hang on the wall if you want to hang on the wall. So you see, it has the little. Hook right here to hang on the wall and then inside you can put whatever you want or you don't have to put anything on the inside this is very heavy it's very heavy this is so nice look at this you guys oh, i love this yep so i'm getting different kinds to go onto that living room wall is gonna go across the living room wall. Or you can just sit it like this on something and put flowers and just have it sitting somewhere and put some flowers or whatever in here or whatever, green sticks or, you know, leaves, whatever. But I'm gonna hang mine going across the dining room wall. I think that'd be so cute and be something just to look up and stare at. I really do think it's gonna be gorgeous. So that's how I'm gonna do mine, but I love it. My picture came. Look at it. It's 
so beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God. I'm in love. Love, love, love. Look at that picture. Look at that picture, you guys. It comes already in a nice little wood frame. Okay, y'all, I'm just painting this little thing right here, this little flower um, candle holder. It came like a green, as you can see. It's supposed to be like a vintage little uh, flower um, holder. I've been decorating my dining room table, my new dining room table, one like vintage little finds. So this um supposed to be, um, I thought it was green. It looked green on the website, but when it came, I mean, I thought it was black. It looked it black on the website, but when it came, it was this green color or gray. So I'm just... um. Yeah, it's like a grayish green or something. I don't know. It looks like green. Sometimes it looks like gray. It might be gray. It looks green, though, off this camera. So I'm going to just go ahead and paint this black, you guys. You guys, look at this beautiful, beautiful statue I ordered. It looks like it's got some marks on it. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Look at this. It's so beautiful, you guys. And I have this one. I have um, different kinds. This wall in the dining room. So I thought these were so nice. And they are a plant holder. So you can do plants and flowers. But I'm not putting anything in them. I just want the um, base. Hey, you guys. I am about to clean off my table. And I'm about to change it. I already moved some of the candles. And they keep... I'm gonna... So I seen something on YouTube where someone was like lighting the... Um, candle at the bottom let the wax drip and set like the holders and push them down to let them stay i'm about to clean all this get my table cleaned off and then i'm going to change this runner i have this black and white runner i think it's going to be really nice in here because you know my colors is black and i think it's going to be really nice here so i'm going to change my runner i'll show you guys how i look once i change it This is the curtains I have up in the entryway. They need a good washing. They've been up here since I moved in. And I haven't took them down to wash them. So, yeah, they're pretty dirty, I believe. So, you guys, I put the curtains up. But guess what, you guys? <laughs> Wrong color. They're supposed to be navy blue and gold. And these are black and gold. Kind of made me mad, upset a little bit. But I'm going to send these ones back and get the ones I want. Because I wanted it. So, like I said flow in with these curtains so that's navy blue and that's black even though those are some very nice curtains very nice curtains but i want the navy blue and gold all right let me handle that now you guys this is the correct color you can tell that they are blue and not that black even though the black was um cute as well but I want everything to flow. Hey people, so look, okay. I got this wood stain. I know you're supposed to use like a towel and wipe it on there, but I'm using this brush. So you remember I showed you guys before on a previous, it had all like the little paint flecks from whoever had the house previous. I guess they painted and they got little specks of um, paint on there, right? Okay, let me show y'all what I'm about to plan on doing now. I still have to go over my door, so don't even look at that, but uh-oh. 
put on all the wrong lights. Okay, so you see how all that look? See, I'm about to paint all this, all these little speck, specks of paint all around here. Um, I do have the paint for the door. I just haven't got to it, y'all. I'm th it's busy, just busy, busy, busy. Okay, it's gonna get to that. But I'm thinking about. Okay, you see this door not? Can y'all really see that? I'm thinking about changing out my doors to some real, especially this one. I think I'm gonna get a real nice knot for this door. I'm gonna show you this around here. I'm gonna paint it black. And I'm gonna do some touch-up paint on my staircase over there. I'll do touch-up paint over there. And I'm gonna stain these stairs and do touch-up paint where I've already painted black at and do some touch-up paint. I think it'll look nice. Something even, you guys, these hinges, is these hinges, right? Whatever they call these, I'm gonna change these out. I think I'm gonna do black. So I'm gonna order these and change these out. Or should I do gold and do a gold handle since this is black to make it really pop and stand out? Whatever I'm gonna do, I'm about to do it. I think it's gonna look nice. Okay, you guys, I stained the doors. Don't even worry about the doorknob and around the doorknob area because I'm changing out that doorknob to a, well, I want something fancy, a silver fancy one because this is silver and I'm gonna clean my chandelier today. And now I am painting around the edges black. So yeah, it's gonna look nice, you guys. So guys, y'all hear my kids in the background. Ignore them. But anywho, let me show y'all what I'm working with. So this fantasy was my daughter's. I even have, like, she had it for a very long time. I think I got it, like, her 10th birthday. I don't know. It's for my older daughter, who is about to be 15. So, she passed it along to her younger sister, who is 9 years old. And she did not take care of it. She started doing her little paint stuff on it. As you can see, it's very dirty. It has paint stuck to it. So, I'm going to clean this off. And I was very disappointed of how she did this. And I understand she liked the paint, but she's old enough to know that this was not a painting area, but anywho, like all this is paint. Um, I'm going to clean this off. I have a wallpaper that I want to put on top of this. Let me show you the wallpaper. At first I was going to paint it, then I didn't want to paint the whole vanity. So this is the little pretty wallpaper that I'm going to put on there. It's so pretty. I have the other pieces down here. I bought some pretty knobs to switch out the knobs and everything like that. So also the leg is broke on it. I've got it leaning up against this i'm going i will if i have enough wallpaper i'm going to wallpaper the inside of that but if i don't have enough then i'll order some more where i can um wallpaper the inside of the um pull out drawers i'm going to change those knobs i got some vintage knobs and like i said i got this wallpaper this is blue and white on camera it might be giving you black but it's actually a navy blue and white and the reason why i'm doing navy blue and white because i'm moving my room to upstairs and my room is going to be orange and like navy blue. It's the colors I'm going for. My room is going to be so pretty, you guys. I've been getting some pretty things. And um, yeah, and then what I'm going to do is um, get a pretty little, I already ordered a um, perfume tray. It's so pretty. I'll do a side-by-side -side screenshot for you guys so you can see the um, perfume tray. I'm going to put a, per um, a perfume tray on here and add some perfume. Um, do a little tray, maybe just add little small earrings or something like that. Um, I ordered this little um, blue and gold bowl. It is so cute. I'm going to show you guys that as well. Um, just put perfumes and whatever. I um, might do a, a little lipstick um, holder because I still like to wear my lipstick here and there. Do a little lipstick holder or something. But anyway, I'm not going to crowd it. I want it to be cute and I'm going to add it to my room once I switch my room to a different room. I'm going to add it to my room. I think it's going to be cute. So let's just get a good look of the before. This is the top. Ignore my kids. They're playing upstairs. So, you know, real life here. So, this is how I look. I'm about to go get a good rag and get this all cleaned up. This is the draw and all the parts to go with it. So, and I'm going to show you guys the knob I have as well. Okay, y'all. That's not that bad. 
had. I cleaned it off. So my daughter confirmed that she didn't paint on it. She said that she had her little makeup and nail stuff on it and she did her nails. So what we actually see is nail polish and it isn't um, paint. So I cleaned it off. I cleaned the, the dresser um, pull outs, the draw pull outs. I need to wipe the mirror down. And I want to wallpaper it, you guys, and see how it turn out if I like it. We will see.
Hey guys, so let me show y'all. Y'all see what I'm looking at, right? It looks like it's a big hole in the wall. It's not. So I'm in my boy's room, and this room is really considered the master bedroom. But as a lot of people may know, I had put my room downstairs. We have a build on to our home, and I made that into the master bedroom. Then I gave the boys, since they were sharing rooms, the master bedroom in the home, you know, so they would have a lot of room. But I'm trying to get ready, and of course, I'm doing certain things in the home. And I have noticed, and I showed you guys on one of my um, other doors um, downstairs. It was another door that was downstairs. I showed you guys how they had painted over the wood. And I'm like, why would you paint over the original wood to the home? This is an older home. It has a lot of character and a lot of original things. This right here, as you can see, is the original wood to the home. This is the original door to this home. Please explain to me. I'm just pulling the paint. I'm like, cause I was gonna, I have to get ready. I was gonna paint the doors, but I'm looking. I'm like, that look like wood under there. And just behold, look at this, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody actually sat here and painted the wood. So y'all know what I'm gonna do. You get this paint off. And if it need to be, um, get some wood stain. I get some wood stain. And I just recently ordered some wood stains for my stairs. I get some wood stain, but then look also, you guys. They had the nerve, y'all, to paint the doorknobs. Who is painting doorknobs? Why are we painting doorknobs? I'm gonna see if I can get. I think I can get the paint off this. Look, it's coming right off. Look, and this is just using my nail. So I'm gonna get the paint off these doorknobs, and definitely get the paint off these doors. And like I said, my daughter closet is just like this as well. Tell me this is not crazy. I'm gonna have my boys work on this all today of getting this paint off this door. Look at that. Yeah, you can see, you can see up there. Look, let me let me zoom in for y'all. You can see, look right up there. You can see the wood coming through. All over here. This is the wood. See? This is wood. See? It's coming right off. And I want them just, I'm not gonna use anything because I don't want to scratch up the wood because it don't look like it's that bad. I might can put some stain on there. And that is it, this is crazy. Wow. The craziness of things, of things that people do. Like, why would you paint original wood to the home? Like, why would you sit, you actually took your paint and said, let me paint the original wood to the home. How crazy. And then let me go ahead and paint the doorknobs too. That was just lazy because you could have just took the doorknob off or just taped the doorknob, the doorknob up. Took it off or taped it up. So that was just lazy. So whoever did this paint job before I purchased this home, they did a horrible job. And it was a lot of things that they did a horrible on this home, but it's a process. It's an older home. I'm still working on it, trying to get it how it needs to be. So yeah, but this paint is definitely coming off these doors. And I know it's like this in my daughter's room too. So I'm about to have her do her door. And then I'm going to check my younger daughter room. As a matter of fact, y'all, let's go check. It. Okay, you guys, now I'm in my daughter's room. Look at that. Look at that good wood, y'all. Look at that. They are actually sitting here and have, I, not my, I'm talking about the people who previous, previous owned the home. 
and they painted the wood to the doors. How crazy. We getting all this wood off these doors. So you guys, I never showed you guys um, how my daughter room turned out. Remember I was redoing her room. I was painting and decorating. So let me show you what we have going on and what I plan on doing. So anyway, these are the curtains. I got them on both sides um, of the windows. I love the curtains. They're so cute to me. Um, excuse the camera up there and the camera cord. It is what it is. I know it look a little blah, but I have to have cameras in their rooms. I like to see what they're doing. Um, like if I'm not here, I can, you know, talk to them through the camera and watch them and see what's going on. Um, over here, over the bed, I got these two bunny pictures and that mirror. Yes, that mirror is not where it's supposed to be. It was a nail already in the wall and I just hung it right there as I was in here picking up in her room today. I'm going to center that mirror before the day is over. And on the other side of the bunnies, I have a mirror, I mean, a hard shelf. And I'm going to put that hard shelf on the other side and put these little decorations I bought. You will see this, see it later. Her bed is not made the best, but it's made. Um, she did get the bed nice and made today. Um, she had her little ballerina, little stuff, little um, dowels. She put those in the closet because they need washing. So I'm going to um, maybe wash those today. And they, you need to hand wash those. I'm going to hand wash them today and let them dry. And she can put them back to her um back to her bed i thought this was so cute you guys look at this this right here All right, i'm too zoomed in look right here i thought this was so cute i thought this little, little stuff like this i love little stuff like this i just think it's so cute and her cute little pillows um this is her her bedding I love her bedding. It's so beautiful to me. This is so nice. I'm gonna link this if you're interested in this. I got it off Amazon. It's so beautiful. I believe it was like a hundred bucks. I'll link it, maybe a hundred, 130. Um, we got her shelf still on her wall for her um books. It is so cute. I got some lights on there and I'm gonna try to come back and get footage of how it look when it's dark and you can see the lights on there. So I'm gonna try to remember that. But this is how I look. So she just have like her little, so she just have like her little um, decorations, some air freshener. Then of course you see it's the lights. So we can light the shelf up at night. I thought these were so cute. And she had ended up breaking this one and I ended up reordering a new one because I just thought it was so cute and I wanted to make sure it was on here. So these are some of her books. Those little barks right here are so cute. The picture that is above, this picture right here, it matches her um, bedding, as you can see. It matches the bedding. More books. She got um, Siraji's new um, book. I, also, I actually read it on my over on my children's book channel where I read books. So I'll link that in the description. Go ahead, check me out. I'm um, read this book over there. Really a nice little book. So she has all this over here. Then over this way, you guys. Excuse the hallway, but over here she wanted to do. Um, a wall gallery with her own pictures and these are pictures that she actually drew most of them so let's go over there and see so this one this one not drew painted this one she loves i just recently added this mirror it only cost me um nine dollars i got the cleaning to take the tag off of it but just more of her pictures um this dresser yep is damaged i'm not doing anything to it i plan on getting her a new little tall dresser to put her clothes in but i'm gonna leave this for her so when she paints she can paint on this dresser and we don't have to worry about paint being everywhere because you know how it is when you're painting so that's why i'm gonna leave this um over here i just got her i recently just got her this this little headband stand it is so cute you guys look at that so cute excuse her fan in the window over there it's, it's hot it's 90 it's like 90 degrees in michigan so excuse us it is hot and then over there she just have her little two pictures her tv her two little new unicorns she recently got those little unicorns she got them for christmas she had got one and i got her sister one and then her sister didn't want hers and gave it to her so she got the two little unicorns over there 
I don't think those unicorns are cats. Well, I think one is a cat and one is a unicorn. Yeah, I'm talking about unicorn. One is a cat and one is a unicorn, but it looks like a cat, so it's like a unicorn cat. I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, you guys, but this how everything turns out. Oh, this is the light. That's how the light turned out. It's a ceiling fan. I love it, you guys. It's so pretty. Yeah, like I said, I love this bedspread. I love those curtains. Like, I really love it. So this is how everything turned out for her room. Okay, you guys i am about to paint this room once again you guys this is my boys room right now but this is really the master bedroom to the home i have my my master bedroom is downstairs because like i said we had a build on built to our home and we made that into our master bedroom we're going to be switching some things out we are getting our basement finished and with that being said we are building two rooms in our basement that will be the two older boys room the younger boy we're still trying to decide but i think he's gonna maybe one room with my um with the youngest daughter or i don't know i'm trying to decide do i want to have him a room built downstairs too because he's eight the other boy the other two boys are a little older you know so i'm trying to see but anywho this is how the room is this is a very large room you guys this room is large it might don't show on camera but it's very large so i'm thinking about how I want things set up in here because now we're going to actually make this into the master bedroom because we have plans for that build on. I'm not going to speak of those plans yet. I'm going to wait until everything is said and done. Then I'll show you guys, but we're going to now turn this actually into our master bedroom. So of course, as you can see, the walls need painted, which I am about to start on in a second. Um, my colors in this room is going to be like a burnt orange and blue or it's not even burnt. What well, falls in the burnt orange family is terracotta. I got a deep terracotta paint. And then you already seen the blue paint I was doing. These lights up here is gonna change out. This up here is gonna change out. This TV is coming down. It's gonna be nice, you guys. Real, real nice. That is the closet door I was doing. Um, I'm not gonna even try to savage this wall, this um wood, you guys. I'm like, I mean, it's a po it's possible, but I just don't have it in, in me to do it. So what I'm going to do, I ordered this um, vintage wallpaper. It's going to be beautiful in here. When it's all said and done, you guys, it's going to be beautiful in here. So you guys, I was very, I'm, I'm very pissed off because I had the curbside pickup today to get my items. And that was early this morning. And I'm getting ready now. It's, it, it's way later. It's like after 8 p.m. And I'm finally about to start painting because I'm, of course, I'm starting late, but however I be up. So I'm about to start painting. 
Only to see that they gave me some gray wall paint. Do it look like I want some gray wall paint? These walls are already gray and I hate this color. So I had to go back up there to get the right color, but I got a terracotta color, which is just basically like a burnt orange, falling the burnt orange uh, family. Oh, okay. Fall in the burnt orange um, family. And I'm about to start painting my room. This is how the walls look. And the reason why the walls look like this, I had a mural on this wall for the boys. And when I took that mural off, that's what happened to the walls. So it did kind of damage the walls. But yeah, I'm about to paint. Okay, you guys. I finished the first wall. It has a glare to it. But that's the light shining on it. But that's how it came out. The first side I got the is just the first. This is a large wall too. The color is so pretty. I got to continue the top part of those edges, but I need a real tiny, tiny brush for those. I don't want to get any paint on the trim, so I'm waiting. But this is beautiful, you guys. Beautiful. I love this color. I love this color. I really do. This is how it came out, you guys. This is the color. It is so pretty, you guys. Then I did this one in blue. And I did these little flowers on here. So nice. Then over there, I did a wallpaper. I got to cut the wallpaper, but I'm just now sticking it on that door. But as you can see, it matches the paint. So pretty. Okay, you guys. So I want to show you guys what kind of lights I plan on putting right here because I'm about to remove these lights over here i don't like them you know they're just your normal builder grade light that they put when they do the home like they find the cheapest ones so you know go up so i'm gonna do a side by side and show you guys the lights that i want to get for over here they are so freaking cute you guys so this is the light you guys that i want to put over in this area um i think it's cute I'm going for, I want like a Victorian vintage type room, if that makes sense. Like Victorian vintage. I want everything that's just look like it's like in the vintage days, like older days, Victorian. That's the type of room I'm going for.
I just want to sit and relax now.